The Wild Robot by Peter Brown is a New York Times bestseller, the first in the three book series, at least there's three so far, and I don't know if there's more coming, plus there's a movie coming out in September 2024. So should you get started in this series? And most importantly, what does Princess the Cat think? Is this book feline friend or foe? That's coming up next. As you might have guessed, The Wild Robot is about a robot. And the focus is not on all the science behind how the robot actually works and all that. Instead, uh, like when I looked at the Wikipedia page, it characterized the upcoming movie as a science fiction survival. And in this case, it's a robot who's trying to survive. Having said that it's science fiction, this isn't all about laser beams and cool gadgets. There's actually very little about the tech and gadgetry behind the main character, uh, who's a shipwrecked robot who goes by Roz. I can immediately see why this book became so popular. It's great for young readers and also engaging for uh, the adult. If the adult were to read it out loud in a classroom or to their children at uh, bedtime, for example. But what really makes the book great? Well, a couple of things. Uh, it takes a humanoid robot that has some cool physical capabilities as a robot that, well, I mean, they're the type of things kids will want to see in a robot. And it kind of smashes that together with the fact that the robot who's literally new out of the box and so has like only a basic understanding of the world, sort of like a very young child. Then that artificial robot is tossed into a completely natural and well wild environment. No humans, just wildlife on this island. Remember, this is survival. Now, along the way, Roz the robot encounters a variety of animals, landscapes, and the seasons. And through it all, well, even accidentally becomes an adoptive mother of a cute animal, but you'll have to read all about that on your own. So that's the first thing that makes this book so intriguing. You have this artificial robot kind of learning a new world in this completely natural environment. The second thing that makes this book so intriguing is that it really raises huge life questions, but without doing it very obvious and in your face ways. And it doesn't try to shove the answers down the kid's throat. Uh, now I'll be interested to see if that remains to be the case in books two and three. So for example, obviously Roz is a robot who was made by somebody, but who and for what? Does that matter? Can or should Roz seek to find that out? Are answers to these questions to be found on the island? And finally, what happens when those outside the island come looking for Roz? This book can spark great conversation between you or your students, and at the very least, it's a story that everybody can enjoy, and it's a little bit different. You've not read this story before. And with like 10,000 reviews, a lot of them four or five stars, you know, it can't be all that bad. Now, what would Princess the Cat think? Is the wild robot feline friend or foe? Initially, Princess the Cat was thinking that the wild robot is more of a feline friend because the fact that so many wild animals actually needed a robot to survive and get by shows that this island is lacking a cat like Princess the Cat, who has, or who would have domesticated all of them and set them all in order and everything would have been great. But now Princess Cat is leaning more towards thinking while robot is feline foe. And here's why Princess the Cat thinks uh, it's a feline foe. All those big questions, in her mind, remember she's a snooty cat who thinks she rules the universe, they're already answered. All things exist to serve Princess the Cat, says Princess the Cat, and that includes Rods the robot. Don't let the fact that she's a mere house cat fool you, she really rules the universe. So she's going with feline foe. But having said that, I enjoyed the book and I think you should give it a read. If you don't know Princess the Cat, she is a snooty cat featured in a series of books perfect for grades three through six or cat lovers of any age. But be warned, she's only for cat lovers. Check out links in the description below for paperbacks, audiobooks, and so on. Well, that's all for this time and I'll see you next time.